There can be a lot of questions when it comes to baptism. If I was baptized as an infant, do I need to be baptized again? What is the correct way to be baptized? Who can baptize me? Why is it so important? Plus a few more questions you may have. At Kensington, we believe baptism is one of the most powerful experiences a believer of Jesus will experience in their life. So let's spend some time together to get a better understanding of what this 2,000-year-old tradition is all about. Let's start with, what is baptism? Baptism is simply an outward expression of an inward commitment to follow Jesus. Baptism doesn't make you a follower of Jesus. It's a symbol of the commitment that you've already made to follow Him. Think of it a little bit as a wedding ring. The ring doesn't make you married. It shows everyone around you that you've made a lifetime commitment to your spouse. So, if baptism doesn't make you a Christian, then why is it so important? Let's look at the words of Jesus. In the book of Matthew, Jesus says, Therefore, go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those were the words Jesus had for His disciples, and we believe those are the words that Jesus has for us. Jesus established this as an ordinance of the church so that we wouldn't keep our faith private, but to go public and share them with the community. If you're wondering, when should I be baptized? Let me ask you a question. Have you put your faith in the claim that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins, and that He rose again, defeated death, so that you can have hope for all eternity? If you have, then now is a great time for you to be baptized. And it doesn't matter what age you are. Whether you're 10 years old, 25, 50, or even 80, you may think that I'm not spiritual enough or I have a long way to go. But baptism is not a symbol that you have arrived. It's a symbol that you decided to begin a relationship with Jesus. You may be wondering how Kensington baptizes people. Do we fully immerse, which means to put under, or do we do the sprinkling method? For the most part, we immerse. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians, baptism is buried in the likeness of Jesus and raised to walk in newness of life. This indicates going under the water and coming up. Now, if you're not able to be fully immersed for whatever reason, we don't want that to be an obstacle in your decision to be baptized. We will do the sprinkling method. What matters most is what it symbolizes, your decision to follow Jesus. So who can baptize you? It can be anyone who is a follower of Jesus. When you read the Bible, you will see men and women who were ordinary people, not ordained, without clergy credentials or formally trained, baptizing people. So at Kensington, you'll see teaching pastors and other staff members participating in our baptisms. But you also see regular, ordinary, non-ordained people participating as well. So if you have a family member, friend, or a small group leader who is an active follower of Christ, they would be a great choice to be the one to baptize you. Baptism is so beautiful and emotional because of what it signifies, life change. The moment a person comes up out of the water represents a brand new person. All the past and the mistakes, all of it is left behind. We are buried in the likeness of Jesus. The old person is gone. And when we come up, it's like the resurrection of Jesus and we walk in the new life. Hopefully this helped in answering some of the questions you may have. Now, if you're thinking, I'm just not ready yet, that's totally fine. Stay on the journey and keep investigating. But if you're ready, we would love for you to sign up today. We can't wait to share and celebrate this incredible experience with you. 